Today I'm here to review some bundles that I got from Amazon. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a half wig but make it out of human hair. So that's exactly why I got the bundles. It was three packs. It was $70 and it was 22, 20, and 18 inches. Honestly, I'm going to keep it all the way a stack with you guys. The quality of the hair truly is not the best. Um, and it did have a weird smell yeah but i say all that to still say you see how i'm pulling this off right now do you see how good this looks and keep in mind like i'm i the last relaxer i got was in november so how every however many months that is post relaxer i am and it was still able to do what it needed to do i could only imagine how this would look once i have a fresh relaxer like it's definitely gonna give the girls what it needed to give I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys because I know I love half wigs and I know a lot of people came to my channel because they see me review half wigs. So I just wanted to make a human wig, human hair half wig, which is definitely could be done. And I don't know why none of these vendors are doing that. Like they need to get on that. There's money in that. But besides the point, I show you guys how I do everything in the video. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the hair once I'm like, um, looking over and editing i'm gonna talk a little bit more in depth about what i didn't like about the hair throughout the video and then also of course i show a couple of tips on how i got it to look this good even though the quality was bad but yeah that is pretty much it if you guys want to get this look which i definitely recommend this would be super cute for summertime or like a like a beachy vibe vacation yeah but if you guys want to get this look, continue watching. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for continuing to watch. So right now, I'm going to just start gluing the hair onto the wig cap. I did get a spandex dome cap in black. I recommend that over a stocking cap just because the elastic band is going to help a lot more when it comes to installing the half wig and having it be stretchy. So it could fit the shape of your head and also not get as loose as a stocking cap can get. And then when it comes to gluing the hair, you're going to water it out and get a big U shape. That U shape is going to help because you're going to place it in where you want to leave your leave out and you're just going to keep building upon that U shape. Y'all, please don't mind me. I look a hot mess right now. I, this was wash day for my real hair. So my hair was in a deep condition. And of course, I was watching something while I was creating this halfway. So I was laughing. I was looking a hot mess. So please ignore me. But we still made it do what it do, you know? like. So this is the U-shape that I was talking about. I'm going to build upon that U-shape a lot more and make it a lot more closed up once I get into closer to the center of the half wig. You guys will see, of course. You know, I'll show you everything. So this was after the first bundle was installed. Um, a tip that I have, if you have loose or curly hair, what you're going to want to do, especially if you want to keep it curly and it's not the best quality, 
it's easier to break it up piece by piece. So what I did is I took my mousse, not the hardest mousse that I have, but um, that brand mousse is really good. It holds the hair in place, but it doesn't make it like hard and crunchy. So I took that brand of mousse and then I also took a little bit of the bio silk, mixed it together and I put it on the hair. After I did that, I twisted that bundle into place. Like I twisted it in like a big twist. And that helped keep the ends curly while I installed the other um, bundles. So now I am that's my last bundle and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the hair So first of all, I like big hair and three bundles was not enough for me Personally, what I recommend when you have hair like that is definitely Keep the back a lot more spaced out than you're gonna want to keep the front That's just gonna leave more hair for the ending so you could have the front part of your hair a lot more bigger and voluminous Two, that little clip was how the hair looked before I put any mousse or bio silk in it. As you guys can see, there was a lot of split ends and it was super dry. Parts of it was a little bit matted. So mousse and bio silk helped out like times a million. Like it did what it needed to do to help the wig look a lot more better. Also that tip where I say, Twist it after each bundle and run the mousse and bio silk after each bundle is gonna be a lifesaver. Granted, mm, quality of hair is either a hit or miss, especially once you get it from Amazon. But different tips and tricks you can definitely in place to make it look decent. So as y'all can see, I built up the U-shape into a smaller U-shape and now I'm going to start closing it up. So how you're going to want to start closing it up is you're going to want to cut piece by piece into a square. You're going to see how I do it. It's really hard to explain, but once you see it, it explains it so much more. But how I built it up is the easiest way because on the sides, you can't see any tracks. And in the front, the tracks, I get it to be as small as it can be. So your natural hair is going to cover the last track that's showing. But you're going to see, once again, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below and I will be happy to answer them. So I built it up by going two horizontally and then I did two vertically on each side and I kept building it up like that and just making that space smaller and smaller. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to the elastic band, not the bottom of the elastic band, but right at the top before you start getting onto the elastic band. You're going to see why I wanted it like that soon. Yeah. 
so i'm gonna just show you guys what i did or what i just talked about so i'm gonna start off with the two horizontally i think i may have the two or three this time of course do it to your discretion and then i'm gonna do two vertically just to close in the part Another reason I like the dome spandex cap is because it has an outline on the cap which helps guide you on where to place the tracks in my opinion i closed up the track so now i'm just gonna just keep adding it piece by piece by piece and getting it to the top the top piece of the bundle or the top piece of the track is just gonna cover the track before it and i'm just gonna keep layering it until i get to the top and then at the top you see that little space that's the size of the track that's gonna be in the front that's gonna be the only track showing at the ending that is pretty much it when it comes to creating the wig so now what you're going to want to do is just install some wig clips this is going to help with the wig actually staying in place and not falling off when you go in public i only did three and what you're going to want to do with that elastic band is flip it inside and then sew the wig clips onto that that's why i said don't put any tracks on the When it comes to sewing on the wig clips, I recommend just testing it out and pretending like you're putting the wig clips on your head with the wig, just so you're not messing up where you put or place or sew in place the wig clip. It's annoying and tedious to have to remove it and then reinstall it, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But other than that, sewing in some wig clips onto a wig that I've made is like one of the most easiest things and one of the most go-to things that I do. And anybody could do it. I'm not a professional sewer. I barely know how to sew myself, but all you need is a little one, two, one, two. And make sure it's tight when you tug it and you're good to go, I promise. So this is how everything looks. Um, there are three holes on each side of the wig clip. So you just want to make sure that you're sewing those three holes in pretty tight. After that, um, I just added two more, one on either side of those clips. And that was pretty much it. Now it's time for the fun part, which is the installing. I already parted out some of my hair that I was leaving for the leave out. As I said, my last relaxer was back in November. So I'm definitely rocking two different textures right now. But that is why I deep conditioned my hair. Every wash day, I normally deep condition. But after this wash day, after I deep conditioned, I did put it in a slick back ponytail. That was just to help manage both of the textures and help 
make it look a lot more sleeker. So that's a pro tip for my relaxer girls. Always style your hair straight after wash day if you're going to have leave out because it just makes it a lot more easier on your hair and on you because you don't have to put too much heat on your real hair to get it to blend and match up. To put in the heat protector on my hair, what I'm gonna do is just clip the wig into place. And as you guys are seeing, this is looking like a half wig that I purchased straight out the store. Like, I'm so proud of myself for doing this and for recording this so you guys can do it too. Good crimper is a, a good investment. It's perfect for when you have loose, deep hair, or even when you have curly hair, just to crimp your real hair and just have it blend in seamlessly. As you guys are seeing, like, look at that. Can you tell the difference? I can't. And then also, if you have a good one, it adds a nice shine to your hair too. You're gonna wanna make sure you comb out your hair before you go through with the crimper. Um, yeah, there's always one side of my hair that gives and one side that doesn't. Unfortunately for me that day, that side of my hair was not given, but it's okay. Like the whole look still came together and it looked pretty cute. And I never been embraced. And the money's hard to make. So I bet they on their face right now. When he tell the story that's not how I went, know they be lying a hundred percent. Moved out of the wrist and forgot about that bit. Why they just call me to tell me come get it? Now that boy off and I don't want no credit. If it was me, they wouldn't regret it. Let me be dead and now they won't get it. Heart is still beating, my niggas still eat it. That girl they look like the garden they eat it. Fellows all bit him, spilling the tea. And it's Friday came back and said she didn't mean it. It's hard to believe it. I know that they had the crib gone crazy down there. What they had didn't last. So now after that, I'm just going to comb out my baby hairs and I'm going to use my go-to when my natural hair starts growing out. I have two go-tos. One is Eco Styler, but that's when I'm doing more of like a natural look. Since this is more like a, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. But since this is more of a, I'm going to say baddie look, what I do is my red edge booster. That red edge booster is amazing, but you're gonna wanna layer that with the black Gatsubi glue. And that's just gonna help keep everything in place without turning it white or having it lift up. After that, I just put a bobby pin in the back of my wig just to hold it in place and to have it laying extra flat. And that is pretty much it. The look is over. If you guys watched it all the way through, you always know I'm going to say it. I love you times 10. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.